Are you having a bad day? Yep, we've all been there. You're tired, you're bored, your boss dumped a huge project on your desk, the printer is broken, and someone ate your lunch out of the office fridge. I don't see your name on it, Karen. This day sucks, and the future doesn't look so bright. But before you crawl back under the covers or start saving for a rocket ship ride to the moon, just humor me and let's see if we can find your spark again. In today's video, you'll learn how to make tomorrow better than today. Let's go! Hey there! I'm Sage Grayson, a former book editor turned life coach. I help ambitious career women edit their habits, routines, and mindsets to balance their happiness at work and home. I'm a life editor, and so are you. Before I tell you how to make tomorrow better than today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my life editing tips. I once worked at a job that made me so miserable that I would get violently sick on the drive to work every morning. I'll just let you sit with that visual for a moment. It was the worst time of my professional career in publishing, but within three months, I had completely transformed my health, gained back my confidence, and I was offered two new jobs for a lot more money. No matter how miserable you're feeling right now, you can make tiny edits to lead yourself to a happier life. Here are seven surprising ways to make tomorrow better than today. Number one, wake up earlier. I know, I know, when every day is awful, the last thing you want to do is get up earlier so that you can have more minutes of misery. Hear me out. When you get up earlier, you have more time for self-care. Those extra minutes can help you get into the right headspace to face the day. You're preparing for war, so get up early if you want to win. Number two, strike a power pose. You're not Wonder Woman, but you can still steal her confidence. This awesome idea comes from the book Presence by Amy Cuddy, and I'll leave a link below this video. Stand with your feet wide and your hands on your hips. Open your chest and feel the strength of a thousand superheroes flowing through your veins. This power pose will boost your confidence for hours afterwards, so maybe you won't scream at your boss. Number three, wear your favorite outfit. Nothing makes your day better than looking like a million bucks. Throw on your favorite dress, style your hair, and wear those shoes that make you feel like you're stomping on your enemies. Whenever I need extra mojo, I wear the color green. Maybe because it's fresh, like the earth, or because it's the color of money, or because I look like kryptonite, slowly poisoning anyone who would dare challenge me. Number four, give yourself a treat. Hey, I'm all about bribing yourself to do your work. A fancy new coffee drink or a pack of colorful pens might be just what you need to keep your day going and try to keep your treat inexpensive or free. And I've got something else planned for the end of your day. Number five, give yourself a reward. A reward costs money and it must be earned through concentrated effort. Choose something fun like going to the movies with friends or buying a new book but you only get your reward if you survive the day and do your work. Number six, pray for the people who trigger you. You can't change all those annoying people, but you can change the way you react to their nonsense. Instead of brooding about how angry they make you, kill them with kindness and send them lots of love through your thoughts and prayers. This simple act saved me when I was at my lowest points. I would pray for my horrible manager and send her kind wishes. It helped me see her as a flawed, imperfect person who was worthy of compassion. She didn't change, but I no longer felt diminished. Number seven, help your future self. I like to tell my clients to do something to help your future self. What can you plan or accomplish now to make it easier for you to stay happy in the future? 
You might plan and pack up your lunches for the week, or plan your daily outfits, or do anything that will take fewer than two minutes to complete. Every tiny thing you finish today will make life better for you tomorrow, and next week, and next month. That's it! This week, make tiny edits so that each day is better than the last. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and then come on over to sagegrayson.com and sign up for my free editor's toolkit to get dozens of printable worksheets to help you edit your life and make every day count. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.